we're here at Powder 7 World Headquarters, and today we're talking to you about the best all-mountain skis of 2021. I'm Matt. I'm Andrew. And these skis uh, measure 90 millimeters through 102 underfoot, so it's kind of a wide range. Uh, people define all-mountain skis differently, so some of these are going to be great for, you know, ripping around Killington, mountains on the east, and others are going to be great for more of a western style all-mountain ski, but everything comes down to your personal preferences anyway. So we're going to dive in with Andrew. Yeah, so uh, the first ski that I pulled out is the Fisher Ranger 102 FR, FR standing for free ride. Um, essentially, they took their famed uh, Ranger line and added a bunch of tail rocker. They softened up the tips and tails a little bit, um, but they gave it a little bit more free ride profile to it. So this came out originally, it was the first season, inaugural year last year, um, and the 102 as well as the 90, uh, 94 FR um, was an awesome ski. It was a shop favorite for sure. Uh, back in 2021, or back for 2021, um, with a top sheet update, they give you two options. You can do blue or pink, um, or like our one of our buyers, Brian, says, you can find a buddy who wants to do blue and pink, and you make some across the board. Um, the Ranger is a, kind of a similar ski to you know, the, the famed Nordica Enforcer FR or uh, uh, Blizzard Rustler 10, um, but a little bit more accessible, free riding tips and tails. Um, that'll allow you to kind of maneuver a little bit easier in trees, a little bit more accessible um, all across the board. But don't let that confuse you. This ski still absolutely charges, can handle on any hard pack snow day. Um, it's a really impressive ski. Right on. So my first choice is the DPS Pagoda Piste 94C2. It's a mouthful and it also might be surprising for some people to hear DPS in kind of an all-mountain category. But they overhauled... Uh, construction for this year and came out with the Pagoda line. So this is an all-mountain uh, front side especially focused ski in the construction. So there are two, la two laminate layers of carbon um, that kind of blend together with two hardwoods and essentially the wood dampens the lively excessive energy of carbon and you get a really smooth strong driving feel um, on snow. And so 94 underfoot, awesome ski for eastern ripping, western ripping, front side, Slices and dices, moguls, holds up on hard snow. Um, I was pleasantly surprised when I first skied it at Winter Park with how well it holds up when you ski fast. So Pagoda Piste, uh, the C2 on the end of that name uh, it refers to the shape. So the RP in the DPS line is very short turn radius, very surfy and smeary. C2 is a little more directional for a little more aggressive fall line skiing. Awesome option. Yeah. Um, so the next ski that I pulled out is uh, from the Faction Prodigy line. It was a tough call to choose between the 1.0 or the 2.0. That's how Faction measures their waist width. So we pulled out the 1.0, um, coming in at 90 millimeters underfoot. A little bit more camber, a little bit more kind of park, free ride oriented than some of these other all-mountain options. Um, the 2.0 is also an awesome ski, coming in at 98 underfoot. So with a new top sheet upgrade with Badass Wolf on the front, also uh, a ram on the 2.0, the Prodigy really kind of slashes and, um, and rides through the whole mountain incredibly well. If you want to ski through the park, uh, really great kind of twin tip shape in the tail, a little bit more directional than a, than a true twin tip, um, but a wonderful ski you can take all across the mountain. I think um, you know, it's, it's incredibly playful, um, and the biggest surprise for the Prodigy, for me, I actually own the 2.0, uh, the biggest surprise for the Prodigy um, was just how well it kind of bites under the snow for its profile and its poplar core. Uh, really unique ski and an absolute blast. So rounding out our favorite all-mountain skis for 2021 is a brand new ski from Solomon. This is the Stance 102. So the new Stance lineup is kind of a riff off of the really popular QST series, except that Solomon adds metal to these skis. So this is right at home in the all-mountain category. Stance 102 has two sheets of metal, and the top sheet has cutouts that you can kind of visualize here. So it's, it's a really popular design in the industry to put metal where you need it uh, and save some weight. <clears throat> so the stance is super strong. It's a really directional looking ski, but it's surprising because it has free ride rocker, and much like the QST 106 and 118, uh, a lot of tail kick uh, in the rocker profile. So it's a really unique ski in that it has two sheets of metal and quite a bit of rocker, especially in the tail, which makes it really strong and bomber for attacking like chopped up bowls, refrozen snow, whatever. Uh, but then you can surf and smear, uh, pop off airs and do all that. 
kind of a, a, a dreamy all-mountain combination. A lot like the really popular uh, Nordica Enforcer 104 Free um, in that way, but it's Solomon's own twist on that, and I'm a big fan. So these are a couple of our favorite skis for 2021 in the all-mountain category. We'd love to talk to you more about them, so give us a ring, shoot us an email, or swing by the shop.